So, um, I had greater ambitions for today's stream, and now I'm looking at something I had merged into um, this fine gentleman's project that broke his Travis in continuous integration. So, he's on Arch Linux. He's attempting an Ubuntu Ubuntu upgrade. Um, I need to sign into Travis, don't I? Come on, log me in. So I need to produce my own Travis CI using this repository. And I don't remember how all this works. My repos. There a button to add a re yeah shogi utils bam this is not active activate all right read documents are getting started fair enough um so i had noticed that uh let's go back I had submitted some changes to this gentleman's project for continuous integration using GitHub, uh, its CI pipeline, and uh, something I submitted evidently caused a regression in their existing Travis pipeline. And they're claiming that, um, and rightly so, that my change Um, so apt get install flake 8, python flake 8, where, okay, from where does github obtain this same thing? Uh, so this here. Yeah, this is the GitHub configuration. It obtains this program from somewhere. Somehow. Python pip install upgrade pip. Uh, this uses Python 3.8. This is using Python 3.6. That shouldn't be a problem. I imagine um, it's at least Python 3. Flake 8, pip install Flake 8. Yeah, maybe it does matter. Um, uh, wait. Echo. And then I, if I were to run flake eight here, I don't know that that, how do I get the return code of flake eight? How do I get the return code of a program that I just executed? Um, so flake eight and echo hi. Okay, so yeah, the return value is zero. So there is no need to put the dot afterward. Um, so, okay, what's up with this then? Why does Travis fail? Um, I'm not a Python expert. Hmm, pip version, pip 18 or 1901. Um, my pip version pip3-v 
uh, my pip version is 18.1. So, wait, what? Huh. All right, so I have a slightly older pip3 version than they have. That's fine, I think. I don't know if the pip they're using is pip or pip3. Uh, no, it's a, it is Python 3, so that's fine. Um, hmm. So, requirements.txt shows these are the things that have to, yeah. Flakegate's not among them. Um, oh, right. Pip freeze rep flake eight. What flake eight version do I have? 3.7.8. I don't know what version they have of flake eight here. Um, but chances are it's not 3.7.8. Um, so if I had a full environment like this, I could see whether Flake 8 and Python Flake 8 are that same version. Um, let's see, apt Ubuntu Bionic Flake 8. Come on. So this is delivering version 3.5.0 of Flake 8, um, as is this. So then I could go look at the history, um, or I could just use Xenial instead. No, Xenial Disco, Focal, Eon. So, each of these has its own special name and stuff, but, um, yeah. It's status, vim, travis, dot travis, dot yml. So I think this flake8 command is fine. Um, let's see, bionic. Let's try stable. Um, now what, stable is a meta something or other, and I don't know whether it maps to disco or something else. Um, Ubuntu stable, old stable, etc. Tell me more. So why old stable? Stretch is the current old stable. Uh, status is stable. So Debian stable is Buster, but I want to know about Ubuntu. Um, Oh, come on. Surely, like, I've used this technique before. I'm not using Debian, right? So, Docker build with tag old stable. Old stable slim for SF. Um which uses the deploy old stable slim docker file. All right, so let's take a look at the docker file for stockfish. Uh, oh, I stand corrected. Um, so that's a Debian thing and there is no as far as I can tell. Oh, that's both a Debian and a Docker thing. Um, 
to have a rolling thing that just keeps up. So let's try disco. Well, also the other thing I could try is go look at the uh, development history of Flake 8 and find out when it was, which version of this that became capable of supporting the syntax that's being used. Um, I mean, I could just try upgrade. Yeah, I don't know. Like, where'd DuckDuckGo go? That's weird. Flake 8 history. Release notes and history, 3.7.9, 3.8, et cetera, et cetera. So the version of Flake 8 that's deployed in Travis is 3.5. Uh, 3.6 must do something with something new with respect to 3.5, right? Uh, da, 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 da. Um. There's no harm in trying to further upgrade. Um, uh, let's try this. Git commit m with this commit message. Git push to my branch, or to my fork, to my master branch on that fork. But, um, so we're upgrading to disco. And if that doesn't work, we'll try the next letter. But um, this should work, right? Come on. Branches. Here it is. Build number two. Python. Let's go. View log. Oh, does Travis not do these tasks in parallel? <laughs> really? Is it really waiting on the C++ task to finish to start this? Or is it just taking a while to set up the environment, maybe? That's weird. There we go. Let's go, go, go. Let's go, 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 go. Download faster. Um. All right. Flake 8 exited with 2. Input not specified. All right, fine. We'll do the poor man's thing and search with Google. Flake 8, error. input not specified. Tell me the answer. Due to a bug in Flake 8 2, create an empty setup.cfg. Um, really? So I just have to put a source directory and sys.argv. Huh. Okay. And this bug was reported in 2014. Yeah, it's ugly. Um, yeah, until they fix the bug. All right. Well, as of 2014, there was a bug. So, um, get reset hard to previous revision. Then we're going to take another look at this and we're going to put the directory right there, like eight dot. And that shouldn't make a difference, but it might. So, it, um, in fact, I have this in the history git commit hopefully fix Travis CI. We'll push that up to the GitHubs and see if Travis likes that one any better. Build number three, here we go. So I'm going to watch the clocks over here. 
and since this is taking way the heck longer than I expected, let's put the chessboard in the corner. Um, all right. Well, it started the Python thing, thankfully. Build system information. No, I don't want the config. I want give me the job log. Damn it. <laughs> Show me all the log, or at least show me the current part of the log, what is actively being logged, unless there was an error, and I'd like to see the error too, but show me where you are. Okay. Yeah, magic. All right. Uh, yeah, check out B. Travis uh, Flake 8. Get push that to there. All right. Check out master. Create a pull request from here. Except guess where I want to pull that? Not into my repo. I want to pull that. It's already in my repo. There's no reason to pull it into my repo. Oh, come on. Really? What the heck is going on with DNS today? Thing, github.com. Yes, that resolves. I don't know what's going on. Um, new pull request. Cross forks. From my repo, from my new branch there we go create pull request so we can see here's the one file i changed and the one dot i added after the flake 8 to fix it all uh, i should probably add an explanation here um, so explanation share this answer if i can find my way back to this edit there we go there's the explanation and so with that all out of the way now that i have fixed yeah i hope uh what i broke we can focus, oh, I got another notification. All right, what's up? What did I break this time? MSSQL CLI. Okay, what's this about? Uh, it's now, oh, wow. Okay, we have a GA release of MSSQL for Linux, really? How does that work? That works on Linux. I know I starred this and followed it uh, to see if they were to release it, I could get this. Um, and so now I could get this and run it on Linux um, if I had to. I don't have to. I don't actually have a current need for this, but that's still cool to note that they did a release. So. If for some reason I had to use this tool, it's right there. 